Hey guys, it's Rob. So I am going to be testing 8 Rack with Pack Rat. 8 Rack with Pack Rat. We're going to have to come up with something else. 8 Rat or something. But yeah, I am testing it out, so we're going to see how that goes. This is in place of both Waste Knot and Bitter Blossom. So opening move here is Inquisition into Pack Rat into hopefully Liliana. Uh, so why pack rat? Well, uh, it works pretty well with Mutavault because it just sits there and replicates. If if um, it, it works well with with Mutavault because it gets a bonus. It works well with uh, Ensnaring Bridge because it's either swinging or it's uh, it's sitting behind the bridge, building up massive amounts of tokens that they can't attack into should they remove the bridge. So it's good in both spots. Uh, you gotta take the ascension here. There's no question about that. Cat's whining for food again. not good because I really needed another swamp there I think I have to in this situation I think I have to die okay here because he's just gone through a lot of stuff it's gonna have to be I don't know I almost always take the manamorphos but the thought scours are pretty good for them too does Manamorphos just to rip a card. Just to blindly rip. Ugh. See how it does. I'm gonna need some lands here. And there's no doubt about that. Well, that is good. Just keep him from doing anything. Just need a land hit. That's what he ripped, so... I don't know. Like, he needs a... Past in Flames or something. The Pyromancer's not gonna help him too, too much here. So he must have ripped that, too. Give me a land. Swing with all of the things. See, now we get to see some of the extra bonus. It's a 2 2 now, because it clicks off that rat. We'll take another one from the rack. So he is in big time threat of uh, just losing next turn to my beatdown. He's got to try and go off here. He has no choice. Past and Flames would do it, probably. He needs one more ramp. No, he, yeah, he's completely committed now. He's got to have the Past and Flames. He's got to have it. Yeah. Can he ramp into it? Metamorpho 
surfaces. He's completely tapped out though. Other than what he's got floating. And he's already played a land. We'll see if he can fl we'll see if he can do it. He's not gonna get any free stuff with the pyromancer. Do one more Gataxian. So it felt fine. It felt really good here. Just, I mean, so far, we'll, we'll see. It didn't feel clumsy or anything. It seemed like it fit right in. Nice. Yeah, he needed the ascension on the board. Snaring bridge here. The graph diggers are so good against them. Yeah, gonna keep. There's no question about it. I've got thoughts he's into surgical extraction turn one. I'll put the pack rat out here. Uh, he's in no danger of going off. I'll double Inquisition him next turn. He's gonna try and go off, wow. No, he's not, he's just flailing. That's great. What I was going to do is tap this for mana and use that mana to turn it into a creature and then swing with a 2-2. That's another neat little trick. So, uh, uh, so far so good. I mean, we didn't get to really showcase any of it, but I had two completely unique, but at the same time, well-blended uh, lines of attack. You know, I've got, with the Pack Rat and the Muta Vault, 
by themselves. That in itself is a that that's a line of attack. That's a threat that needs to be addressed. And that's happening completely in the background while my eight rack game plan establishes control over the hand and locks out the game. Thoughts? Let me know what you guys think. Pack rat and eight rack. Eight rat. Later.